world's financial markets this week by devaluing its currency for three days in a row, the biggest devaluation they've had in two decades. But 41 years ago, Nixon announced executive orders that rocked the world with not only currency devaluation, but created a new currency world order by breaking the Bretton Woods Agreement that had tied 44 nations' currency to a U.S. dollar that was redeemable in gold. Well, when the president does it, that means that it is not illegal. Nixon portrayed the move as protecting Americans from speculators. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. Nixon lied. It wasn't foreign speculators manipulating and destroying the dollar. It was the private Federal Reserve that was destroying the dollar's value. And the Fed did so with the full agreement and cooperation of the government, ignoring the Bretton Woods agreement to tie the dollar to gold. Before World War II ended, Western nations had agreed at Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, to tie their currencies to the U.S. dollar, which would in turn be tied to gold. At the time, the U.S. was economically dominant and had over 50% of the world's gold. But the Federal Reserve ignored the link to gold and had been printing more currency than the U.S. had gold to back for years. The fiat dollars were being used to finance the warfare welfare state of Vietnam and Great Society Socialism. Five years before Nixon declared Bretton Woods dead, the disparity of paper to gold had grown to the point of foreign banks holding $14 billion in paper money from the Federal Reserve, while the U.S. only had $3 billion worth of gold. To Slave wages are just one of many components of China's low cost of production known as the China price. The China price also includes copyright violations, disregard for the health of workers or the environment, and an undervalued currency. Let me lay to, rest, lay to rest the bugaboo of what is called devaluation. If you want to buy a foreign car or take a trip abroad, market conditions may cause your dollar to buy slightly less. But if you are among the overwhelming majority of Americans who buy American-made products in America... Well, the overwhelming majority of Americans don't buy American-made products, do they? Your dollar will be worth just as much tomorrow as it is today. Now these same globalist politicians and multinational corporations who've robbed us with the China price for the last 41 years are ready to unleash something else they've been working on in secret, the Trans-Pacific Transatlantic Partnerships. It is a breathtaking event. Uh, it says it's designed to promote the international movement of people, services, and products basically the same language used to start the European Union. These trade treaties will not only accelerate the concentration of global wealth, but will give us global governance. And the China trade imbalance they began creating 41 years ago is being used to justify TPP and TTIP, just as Nixon lied when he said he was protecting Americans from speculators. These trade treaties are just a head fake. They won't help us to compete with the China price. And as Senator Sessions has pointed out, after the treaty passes, China can be added to the Transnational Governance Committee without approval from member nations. They're simply lying. I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, now you know he was a crook. And by hook or by crook, they're destroying Western economies, cultures, and sovereignty so that they can consolidate us all into a global corporate governance.